Okay, let's continue with the extrusions, and as you can see, I did play back around with the uh, the colors some. I uh, switched that back to being yellow. I just thought that looked better, and um, the only real addition I made was I just put in these two little squares right here to just add in a little bit more uh, detail to that part. And actually, if you were to magnify this, you probably can't see it now. I just um, tapered down some of those lines that I had set to um, fill shapes. And um, let's uh, let's go ahead and switch over here to this uh, this boot and kind of got a similar job up ahead. Let's go ahead and put in everyone's favorite blue lines, except for the hairlines. They're not too big. And let's go ahead and fill this guy in. Of course, this time around we do need to, or we could, also could not <laughs> keep it similar to uh, this boot right here. But uh, I think. Uh, what we did worked out pretty well, so uh, we'll keep it going. I'm gonna snap that together, snap that there, snap this here, that to there, that to there. All right, now we took, well, it's kind of obvious we took that to that. And then let's go ahead and put in Another layer. Sorry, that was my phone. I should have had that off. Everyone with an iPhone just went, huh? Is that me? Okay, and uh, yeah, we had, we had something like that going, but uh, obviously we're seeing a bit more of it as it's turned out this way. Kind of seems like these planes are a lot bigger than that one, but it's probably all right. Okay, and now that's going to there, that'll go there. And I guess I didn't, uh, that doesn't necessarily, you don't necessarily have to continue this line going over here, but um, you could if you wanted to, just add a little extra detail. And then we get down to this point where we started to do a little box over top of it. Uh, you know what, while I'm over here though, uh, let's go ahead and put in some lines down this way. And I guess that'll just go up to there. This could all possibly be one big fr um, plane. Don't see a big reason not to. I mean, maybe later what we'll do is put some em embellishments in here, like, you know, some sort of piping or something like that. Of course, we'd need a probably want to mirror it back over that way but um, for now we could probably just leave it like it is so let's go then and put in another cube over here this time we'll get a little bit of a better view of it and I started it actually along this one didn't I okay well challenge accepted foot Have to move that down a little bit. And that's a little messed up, but uh, it's about to be replaced anyway. Uh, let me go ahead and just create another layer up here so I can get a better idea of what I'm looking at. And let's see, did I have it kind of running along? Well, I imagined it just going out like this and kind of coming back sharply, so we can try that. Start from right here, and I'll go out this way. I guess, actually, you probably would see that point there. Doesn't want to snap to it, does it? And that would be because we're on two different layers. So just bring those back together and Darn that line that wouldn't <laughs> have intersected. What I'm doing is I gotta keep this line in mind as I'm shaping this out. And the easier thing would probably be to just at some point start deleting things, but that's okay. And I 
guess I'll just go back to there, won't I? And you know what? It's probably okay if I don't make the exact same boot. <laughs> over comparing these right now well let's do one more attempt to I think bring this out just a little further Okay, and then we had some things like that going on. And it looks like I've not exactly made that that same curve down there at the bottom. So I would need to do that. Yeah, we'll just go with it. I mean, let's face it, it's probably going to look fine. And no one's really going through this with a with a comb. Uh, once again, I'll just set the alpha down on this so they're not too in your face. And let's begin filling this in. I move this over just a little bit. All right, color wise, let's go over here. That didn't do much, did it? Make that a little bit darker. Darker. Lighter. Maybe too light. There we go. Make this one of the darker ones. Probably not dark enough. Okay. And these colors. You know what? I should make these a bit darker, don't you think? So we're starting to. Starting to get into the dark side of the moon here. Well, I think actually probably the easiest thing is to just sample every color that's right around there. And um, then just tint these. Now I'll just make it the same color. Okay, and I guess we'll try that same brownish color again, or copper color. Uh, let me switch over to the swatches because these don't get cut off screen capture wise. Actually, this should probably be the lightest color on this side. 
and then a little darker. Actually, that looks identical. I might need to fix that. Let's make this one a little lighter. Yeah. So again, just shift everybody down a tad. Okay. Let's let's think here. Might even take the entire boot and just tint it down a little bit. But uh, for right now, we can leave it up. And uh, let's look at getting rid of some of these. That'll merge into one color, but I think I can live with that. See, it doesn't look as good as having some on. And of course, doing some shadowing would fix a lot of that anyway. Oh, and I just remembered I made that a lighter color, which might have been the wrong choice. I sort of like it dark like that. So like I did with the other leg, what I'm going to do is go inside of here, uh, put the line data, the stroke data on a separate layer, hit uh, convert lines to fills. Uh, once again, I will actually need to go and, uh, or I should, make this something like one. And I do find this easier if the the cap is set to square. All right, now go convert lines to fills, and it looks like looks like it chewed up a lot of the lines I had. Let me. Uh, one thing you can do is try just selecting half of them, then doing the other half. Uh, looks like. Looks like I kept most of them that time. And then I'm going to go in, just tighten some of these up. I uh, don't really want the ones on the outside, though. But it might be kind of tough to get rid of them all right now. I'll, uh, I'll just taper them down as well. And who knows, in the end, these might look uh, good if we blurred them, if we made them into a symbol of their own. I mean, not counting the outside of it, but let's just try something really quick. So if we went over here to blur, uh, it might be softening them to the point that you don't see them, but eh, I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, get rid of that and uh, looking at this I think we could probably tint it um, a little bit uh, not that yeah something maybe more along the lines of what I had over here 
I, I used some colors in here that I, did, I think I probably that probably were too bright. In fact, just this one right here is bothering me a little bit. Let me uh, lock that layer that had the lines on it. Am I selecting anything? Yes. Okay, there we go. And um, some shadowing would help. Uh, one thing you could always do too, and you might have noticed this file jump open. Uh, sorry about that. But uh, I was playing around when I was rendering some of the video, and I grabbed some things like, well, here, let me show you this one. This is uh, something I added on my own as well. It's just this same uh, shape right here. It's just a triangle. I put that inside of there, and then I took the same triangle shape, and I just uh, put a glow on it, and I just kind of moved that one behind that one. At least I think that's what I did. Let me undo it, check again. Oh, you know what? I think that glow is pointless. I don't think it was, or that shape is pointless. I don't think it was getting used at all. But uh, if this, um, let's take in some of these shapes and I'll kind of show you what I was up to. Yeah, I think that's all. So if you're kind of working through this and you, you need a little pick me up, just something different to do here and there, go ahead and. Uh, play around with uh, adding in some lights or okay we've got these great little gears we can play with uh, let me set these to there we go I'm gonna put them down here so I don't feel like we need to do in too much detail to uh, connect them to the rest of this because they're, they're you know they're obviously pretty dark and this I was experimenting with right here I made that just almost a pure black. I thought that looked good. And then these little these little gears are fun to just scale and kind of stack up. In fact, let's go ahead and just make a whole other set. And I'll just play around with the uh, the tinting so some of them are a little bit more obvious than others. Right. Uh, we could even let's say call this like a gear group. We could play around with those on the other side as well. Not sure we can get away with just scaling them or uh, squashing them and putting them over here, but we could. We could try it. <laughs> I mean, if it even kind of works, why not? So that's looking kind of cool. And we'll go back through here. I'm sure take another another pass at doing everything. Hey, what happened to the gear group? I thought uh, thought I made those into a group or a symbol, I should say, not a group. Definitely not a group. Steal one of my uh, debris fields here. Let's see how that looks. Kind of looks like it's just grinding away. You might even play with um, making those kind of look like sparks or something like that. I'm gonna take this down just a little. Oh. Take it down, take it up. I don't know. What do you guys think? Oh, that looks nice. And really, all that is is just another triangle offset from the first one. 